My name is Jasmine Peavy, and I am a field agent with Lincoln Heritage Life Insurance Company under the Diamond Memorial Agency. And today we're going to talk about planning and preparation. That is very, very, very important. And it is very important because if your day is not planned and if you are not prepared, you can be in a home attempting to write a policy, maybe missing a form, your iPad probably died, you, you don't have a pen, you want to always be prepared. What I do, I always prepare the night before. So by the night before, I already have my leads, I have my leads in order from where I'm starting, and I have them put into my Route For Me app. If you don't have a, an, an app, Route For Me, so R-O-U-T-E, the number for me is a good app. You have Road Warrior, but you have to have your route planned and have it specific and you want to cater your leads to that because the worst thing you can do is drive up to someone's house they're looking out the window and you're doing this <laughs> they're going to freak out like what is she doing uh she's not coming in here she's confused you know weaving if you have a magnet or not you want to do that and not to mention you don't want to drive in a zigzag unless you have appointments to drive in a zigzag if you have a planner or a route planner or system, it will take you from point A all the way around in an organized fashion so you're not wasting gas and you're not going like this because you may run in a rush hour traffic, an accident. You want to be organized. So you always want to do that the night before. So when it's time to wake up in the morning, you're just grabbing your stuff and you're out because you need to get to that first door, especially if it's an appointment. So that's one thing you definitely want to have, okay? And also, every week, you want to order your 25 to 50 leads. If you don't, you're going to really have to be maximizing your lead system. And that is no problem, but the leads are set there because they are directly to our company, meaning they want them now. So you need to be efficient and organized when responding to all of these requests. You don't want to go to Miss Sherry's house with Miss Tanya's lead. So you want to be organized at all times and you want to be prepared at all times and always have extra folders in your car extra door hangers extra pins you want to have an extra badge you want to always be even over prepared if you have to they may say oh that's hoarding okay well i'd rather you have two extra forms than one less form <laughs> that you were supposed to have that's always good another thing you want to do was what actually helped me is track your progress you want to track your goals your commitments i'm committing the eight to ten hours per day my goal is for 150 in premium today you want to track your progress and then you want to go okay well this is what my goal was this is what my commitment was this is what i actually did my goal was 150 but i did 89. so now i have to roll over that to the next day and work a lot harder to hit that goal because i may have a 500 a week goal that I have in mind. So you want to track yourself so that way when it comes to the nighttime, I didn't hit my goal. Let me look at what I did. I didn't work eight to ten hours. I went to the restroom more times than I needed to. I probably could have just relaxed, you know, or not drink as much water or whatever because it's kind of hard out there on the road and not want to eat little snacks here and there. So you'll be able to improve yourself by tracking your progress and seeing, okay, well, I'm never getting over 10,000. I'm only working six hours. Okay, let's try to work seven and a half hours. Now I'm hitting 12 thousands consistently let's go ahead and work eight hours so you want to track that to be able to see where you're going and why you're still at that particular point because you want to elevate at all times so that's one good thing to do now you always want to respond to calls and voicemails because they may not always be there so you're going to have to leave delivery notices leave a door hanger and so of course you want to be prepared so once you leave you want to make sure that by the end of that day or by a certain point in time of that day where you have some downtime, when it's rush hour, between five and six, you wanna sit down, respond to all calls and all voicemails. This person may have just gotten home, or a voicemail. If you didn't return that voicemail, they're gonna say, well, she came here, you had a package, where is it? And they may really be genuinely wanting coverage. So you wanna always prepare yourself to be responding to all of any kind of concerns any customers may have even existing because they may want to increase and if you don't answer that voicemail that's another increase that you've missed out on that now they're going to call the company that's a new lead for someone else and that's it okay so that helps and another thing is appointment efficiency that is very very important when it comes to to planning and preparation when you have an appointment you need to have what I have. 
I actually have where in my phone, my phone, even if it's on silent, if I have an appointment, an hour before the appointment, my phone will go insane. It will be, 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 you have an appointment, Jasmine, you have an appointment. And I'll say, oh my gosh, I was at the doctor. Let me hurry up and leave. You never know because you may work really fast like I do. And sometimes it, it may slip your mind, but you always want to have either a planner or for if you're more really fast and do a lot like me, you want to have an alarm that alerts you, you have an appointment. If you're ever going to be late, you want to always call and give them an ETA, given an estimated time of arrival when you're going to be there or reschedule if you need to, or if you're going to be on time, make sure you leave five minutes ahead of the time that you want to leave. So it takes you 30 minutes to get there. Try to leave 40 to 35 to 40 minutes ahead of time because you it may be an accident, maybe a detour. You may have to run and get gas. You may get low air in your tire and you want to be prepared at all times because people will definitely, well, you're here. You didn't tell me you're going to be late. I just went ahead and signed up with this other company. Or you know what? I don't like someone that's not efficient. I don't want your program, your program anymore because I don't like any efficiency. You never know who you're dealing with. And so you always want to be prepared at all times. You want to be organized. You want to organize your leads. You want to organize your files, your policies that you've written up. You want to always have that to reference back, especially for increases. I've had people who increased. And I still had their old policy that I wrote that I filed away. That's about being prepared. That's about planning, being organized. That is very important. Ordering 50 leads a week. If it's four weeks, that's 200 leads. And if you're doing that every single month for six months, imagine how many papers you're going to have. And that person may call you back. So you always want to have everything organized and prepared at all times. And you heard it here from Jasmine PV at Diamond Memorial. Thank you.